hello guys welcome back to another youtube video so you may be looking for a free online uh, vulnerability scanner that may you may, might be needed which is cloud based and the problem with a uh, vulnerability scanner located on a, a local server or a local pc is that it takes up our resources and can take time so if you are looking for a online based vulnerability scanner which is reliable uh i will recommend you to use hostel scan uh it is not a sponsored video but the major benefit of hostel scan is that uh it uses uh it has a open wasp the network vulnerability scan and map port scan wasp zap web scan which is ac active as well as passive sns tss scan so these scans of uh are are given by them for for uh like uh, for one month uh one uh, if you use all this scan for for one target for one month so i have been using this for around three months in my bug bounty programs and they have been a uh, useful for an information gathering phase so uh, i will show you how to use this it's uh, uh it they also have a paid version but for this uh, tutorial, we will take the free ver version. So if you take a look at the pricing in free version, we have all types of scan, 10 scans per month, summary report and data retention for 90 days. So data retention for 90 days means uh, once you have done a scan on that online server, it will be stored for 90 days. Uh, after that, it will be uh, discarded by the uh, website. Then we have the basic plan and the premium plan in uh, as we upgrade to our plans uh upgrade our plans we will get unlimited scan uh, and also you can get email updates and also if you take a more premium version then you can get api uh api uh, scanning as well and api access as well and an ultimate scan uh, ultimate plan if you take then but then you can get white label reports so you can create reports um your white labeling reports so without wasting any time, let me show you how to perform this scan. How to perform a scan. So to log in, it's very easy. Uh, you need to enter your email ID. So I'm going to uh, enter my email ID and they will send me a login link here. So once I get the, the so I will go to my mail. And you, as you can see, I have got a login link. I will click on it and it will continue to directly sign in. So as you can see, once we have logged in, we get this dashboard. The dashboard is quite simple and easy to use. So I will go through the menus option. First is the dashboard, uh, which, you will, which you will get all the uh, scans that you have done, the graph security over time, and all the scan that you have scheduled, all the scans which are in progress. Then in targets, you can mention uh, any targets you want to add. You can give an IP address, DNS name, URL, file tags to it, or you can import from uh, these uh, providers as well. I will close this. Then you have a scan, any uh, scans that are currently running over here. I will, uh, will, I will show you a demonstration of a scan surely. Then we will show you. Over here, you will get data of all the risks uh, that are associated with. So there are three main categories, uh, high, medium and low risk they have given. So over here in reports, if you click, then you can create a report. So over here, you can create a report based on uh, what type of scan you wanted, uh, what type of scan result you wanted, or you can create all of them. Like you can uh, the uh, risk status, uh, uh, create it on uh, risk status as well as threat levels, risk title, and you can download as PDF. So, uh, I will show you this, uh, way for uh, ahead as well. Then you have got the documentations for API docs and knowledge base, which I am not going to refer. If you want, you can refer it. So, uh, no worries. Uh, let's begin with a new scan. So over here, I will click on new scan to begin a new scan. And over here, I will select what kind of scan do I want to perform. So they have given a description over here of what type of scan can be done. Uh, you want to do, I will select all, I will select all. Then I will click next. Then over here, 
I have to st put a target. So I have not uh, added a target. So we need to go back and we, we need to click on add target over here. So over here, once I have clicked on our uh, target, I will enter the target. I am using this my website, uh, which is a website that I created during my college project. So I'm going to use that. Then I'm going to click on submit. Uh, so we are going to pen test this. So this is my target has been added as you can see in the targets tab we are currently. So the target has been added. So we will go again on the new scan to start a scan. So here I want to select this scan to run. I will select select all. Then I will click on next. Then over here I have to select a target. So which target do I want to use? So currently I have entered only one target. So I will select that one. If you have many targets then uh, you can select uh, many of them. But currently if you are using the free version go with one target at a time or else uh, or, uh, or else uh, you they will tell you to update to the paid version. Then click on next. Then you can configure this that when you want to schedule the scan. I want to schedule it one time or daily, weekly or monthly. So I'm going to click on one time and I'm going to select the start time uh, which is uh, now. And do you want me to email results? So I would select go to email me results and submit. Once we click on submit, the scan will automatically start. So if you go on the scan tab, the scan will start, the scan will get started. You can see over here the scan type, uh, OS Zap Active, OS Zap Active, Nmap, Open OS, uh, Nmap UDP scan, Open OS Nmap. So these are all the scan that is offers, and uh, which is uh, pretty good. Like you don't have to use resources on a local computer. So yeah, let it finish scanning till that time. I have a coffee. Let it finish scanning. Uh, once the scan is over, we'll be back soon. So as you can see, guys, this scan has been done. Uh, you can see succeeded has been the state. It has done all the scan. So after the scan has been done, you can go to the risk tab to see all the risk that is uh, that are there. So as you can see over here, we are getting all the those uh, risks that we had over here. Yeah, if you click on a column header, you can sort it uh, by the threat level. So uh, I have sorted by the threat level. So uh, if I click on one of the risk. So the first risk that I am getting is a vulnerable JS library. Yes, guys, I have used a vulnerable JS library for my website. That's true. And another risk that it is telling me is that uh, uh, is there a no cookie HTTP flag TCP timestamp flag, yeah. And also, if you look over here, it's selling open was Q O D. So it is uh, it is a uh, uh, what we can say. Uh, sorry, yeah. So yeah, it is the percentage that is given over here. So that means that how much uh, rate is the fall positive. So if it is written years, for example, over in T S L S T L S certificate expiry, it is ninety nine percent. So it is high chances, like ninety nine percent. It is ninety nine percent sure that the vulnerability is there. So yeah, it's good for reference. So for example, over here, I have my S S L T S L certificate that is going to expire. That's true. So again, we'll go to the scan tab, and over here, if you can see, there is an option that they have given us as PDF HTML JSON. So I can right click and open the PDF, uh, PDF and as you can see I get the entire uh, report over here. So over here I had uh, uh, open the uh, sorry uh, I will again open the uh, 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 open was so I will open a new tab and as you can see I get this entire document already ready for me for that particular scan type. So yeah for so you can access those pdf for free and you can get all those uh all this pdf over here uh and uh, uh and if you go to reports uh yeah so one of the ways uh, so if i go to reports i select that i want on scans with all this and i will uh, click as download as pdf uh you can select all the options uh once you did the options you will get it it's not uh like a brainstorming thing so I will click on download as PDF and and it will get downloaded so so it will make uh it will take all the risk and all the types of scan and create a single report which is highly useful for uh which is highly useful for us.
so i guess it has downloaded it i will open it for you now uh, did it get downloaded one second yeah so now it is a, so you can see a entire vulnerability scan report by oza isn't this amazing everything from all risk exit uh, summary risk by targets and breaking down of each application for you they have all this, there we were detailed description references of it and do you know guys uh, it only took me 10 minutes to complete this scan of my website it only took 10 minutes so how fast is it and and so much less time it takes so this also uh, this is all uh, about this uh, this was all about this tutorial uh, one thing i want to, you guys to remember in mind that this is a this is a automated vulnerability scanner so it can have false positive and uh, it and it can not find some bugs or uh, some bugs or vulnerabilities that a manual testing cannot find so you can rely on this uh, but uh, if you get a vulnerability from this scan uh, i have got some high risk vulnerabilities so try to reproduce it and then submit it in your report or to the security team uh, without uh, reproducing it, don't send it to them because uh, it will uh, spoil your image or to or your image to them. So always keep uh, remember this in my uh, this in mind. So any questions regarding this, please do let me know in the comment section. I'm available 24 by 7. I will reply to your comments. So thank you. Please do subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.